right. We are going to watch Steel. Uh, UK game show, Central TV, 1990. I don't know anything about it. I think there's joysticks involved. I think, but uh, I can't be too sure. But let's watch. Played by Central for the ITV network, Mark Walker invites more contestants now to steal. What is that? What is that background image for Central? Played by Central for the is that ITV a couple network, reuniting Mark after Walker war? Invites more contestants is it a clip of Crocodile steal? Dundee? Here we go. <laughs> it's a cat burglar. Sort of like catchphrase, like that's their Mr. Chips. Yes, it's steel. Yes, it's steel. Counter key. Running from pictures of that was a cat running away from yes, pictures of police helmets. <laughs> um. Oh no. Someone's throwing tiles with police helmets on. What an odd choice. Oh, the alarm's ringing. It's time to open the vault. Safe. And here's your host, Mark Walker. Thought they were going to say Mark Wahlberg for a second. Right. Thank you. That is... That is a... That is an outfit. They look like my grandma's curtains. Yeah, that that is quite the outfit. It's sort of like a snooker waistcoat material. It's got a little handkerchief. That is that is a loud. That hurts my outfit. Hello, Baldy. Yes, double frizz today. Uh, that's correct. I've got nothing better to do. And a friend of mine shared this uh, TV show with me and said uh, I should comment on it. So let's see. Thank you, and welcome to Steal, this brand new, exciting, high-tech, Ex high-tension game show where our contestants could steal... He sounds like when Frankie Boyle does his Michael Jackson impression. I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware, but that is exactly what it sounds like. ...contestants could steal a fortune in cash and prizes, and of course, the jackpot prize, which stands at £1,000. I don't know what accent it is. It sort of slips into Dutch at times. It's very bizarre. High tension game show where our contestants High tension could game steal show. a fortune in cash and prizes. Cash and, and prizes. It's, it's it's a mix of Dutch and Hull. Hey, oh, welcome to the game show where people can win some fucking lovely prizes. Prize which stands at one thousand pounds. So let's meet the contestants who are going to play tonight. Steal. <laughs> right. That's like that's like one third of the blankety blank budget. That's amazing. Like. Oh, we've we've got we're getting rid of the blankety blank set. If you want that, so like, oh, how much have we got rid of it so far? About two thirds of it. Yeah, yeah, we'll just use that. I feel really, really sorry uh, for uh, this couple at the bottom here because the quiz show host is now behind them. So they, went, they did a quick hello, and now they have to just sit and stare at nothing uh, as the quiz goes on behind them. She looks a bit like Kathy Burke as well. And we're on the bottom. Hmm. Right. Anyway, let's meet the contestants. Hello, Mr. Steele and Carl. Nice to meet you. This mate. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where you're from, Philippa, first of all. Halifax. From Halifax? That is the Rani and the Master uh, from and Carl? Uh, the Colin Baker yes, era <laughs> of Doctor Who. That's who they are. And tell us where you're from, Philippa, first of all. Halifax. From Halifax? Mm -hmm. and what from you... Halifax. See, he says Halifax. People from Hull drop their H. But I don't know. I don't know what the accent living. is. I'm Sculptor. Sculptor? Sculptor? Fucking hell. Fucking hell. You, 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 you're a sculptor. Use a sculptor. A woman sculptor. Do not know what the accent is. What sort of things do you make? Um, busts. Busts? <laughs> busts. Because <laughs> they're like tits. What was his name again? Mark. It wasn't Mark Wahlberg. Um, oh. I have to go through the bloody thing again. What was his name? Mark Waller? 
Here's your host, Mark Walker. Mark Walker. Son of Roy Walker? Because it is it is the catchphrase set. So Mark Walker. Um there's a US all right, Mark Walker TV host. He is the son of Roy Walker. Oh my good lord. Look at this. Here he is. Mark Walker. He's the son of Roy Walker of catchphrase frame fame, but don't hold that against him. He's funny. Born in Ireland. Found himself in Grimsby. I knew it was the North. Well, there we go. There's Mark Walker with, and that was a very old photo, I think. I think that was quite the old photo. So uh, let's uh, let's get back to business. Uh, let's get back to where what we're meant to be doing. Oh, I think I forgot to share audio. So let me open that up again. Yes, let's get back to this. Uh, oh, my God. I closed the bloody tab. Steal. Chrome tab. Share audio this time. Right. Let's get back to business. In the oh, this the first of this why is it bumps to 640? Get back, get back, get back to the yeah. sculptor. <laughs> <laughs> you're playing with your best friend Carl tonight. Carl, you're obviously from Halifax uh -huh. and uh, you run the shop. Yeah, she makes what does obviously from Halifax mean because he dresses like a banker? Hmm. For, That's right. Sculpting in that. And have you got any hobbies? Would you like? Well, I like keeping fit and playing table tennis. Table tennis, great. So, so we'll give you a run around tonight. See if oh. you enjoy that. <laughs> Let's make a run around. Oh, I'm glad you like table tennis. Hopefully, we'll play it on this game show. I think, unless it is a table tennis based game show. I'm not entirely sure he can hold up to that promise. Let's meet your opponent on tonight's steal, okay? Now awkwardly down the stairs to meet couple number two. And you're playing tonight with Kim. Welcome to Steel, Kim. Hello. And uh, Kim? your brother, the brother, you do? Steve. Yeah. How are you doing? Kim, Steve? tell us where you're from. I'm from Warsaw, in the West Midlands. Yeah, the West Midlands, Birmingham, round here. So, uh, do you like anything? Would you? His accent did not change when he did that impression. Oh, you're from Birmingham, are you? Birmingham. What a very weird man. What do you, what's your favourite pastimes? Uh, I like reading, but most of all, I like swimming. Swimming? Mm -hmm. Oh, I went, I went swimming once with uh, Duncan Goodyear, and he died, no, didn't, didn't. His, his trunks came off. No, yeah. didn't yeah, and he, co he come up bottom first, and this woman said, oh, God, I can't look. He split his head open. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan Goodhue's ass looks like his head. That's the joke there. That's the joke said by Mark Walker, son of Roy Walker. And she's laughing. She's smiling. Ugh. That's... <laughs> Steve, what do you do for a living, Steve? I'm an electrician. Electrician, have you got any hobbies? Yeah, fishing and football. Fishing? Yeah. You're an electrician, you like fishing. What do you go fishing for? Electric eels? No. <laughs> I'll give him that. I'll give him that. If that was on the fly, if that was completely made up on the spot, well done, Mark Walker. That's what I'm saying to him. <laughs> <laughs> now I've met the contestants. Let's meet the other important part. As you know, the board. It's the usual 16 square matrix. Six As you know, the board. As far as I'm aware, this is the first episode of this show. Um, so he's very confident in that. I could be wrong. Let me know if you know any difference. Those squares are occupied by these green pound signs. Uncover one of these. Excuse you have me. To steal cash. What? What did? What did you say, Mark Walker? <laughs> now I've met the contestants. Let's meet the other important part. As you know, the board. As you know, the board. It's the usual sixteen square matrix. Six of those squares are occupied by these green pound signs. That is a white pound sign. That's not a green pound sign. That's a white pound sign. Mark, the rules are too confusing. It doesn't help that you keep getting things wrong. Bloody Mark Walker, son of Roy Walker.
pounds. Uncover one of these, you have the chance to steal cash. There are also four bags of swag full of prizes and surprises. There's that old burglar's mask. Now watch out for this. If you find this, you've got a chance to steal one of your opponent's prizes. Finally, there's Jules in all his glory. Land on that square. You play one of his arcade games in which you meet Scruff. Right. Okay. That's uh, so uh, do you like anything to be your favorite? Steve, 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 Steve. Have you got this? Let's meet the other important part, as you know, the board. As you know, the board, right? It's the usual 16, it's the usual square, 16 matrix, six square matrix. matrix. Are occupied by these green uh, squares. they're covered, Uncover they're 16 squares covered with a white pound sign. You have the chance to steal cash. Uh, so if you if you find a white green pound sign, you get cash. If you get a bag of swag, you win a prize. So it is essentially pick a square. It's a swag full of prizes you can and surprises. There's that old burg burgle. You can steal prizes from another person. Now watch out for this. If you find this, you've got a chance to steal one of your opponent's prizes. Finally, there's Jules in all his glory. Jules, Lan the cat. And if you and land on him, you, play one of his arcade you have to play an arcade game. And their enemy box so behind each square, you can either win a prize, win a prize, steal someone else's prize, or play an arcade game. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any bad squares. Um, you need risk. You need, like, danger of losing it all. Which I guess what the finally, stealing thing is. Oh. This is the jail square. These are to be avoided as cool cats don't make good jailbirds. Okay. Well, that's a catchphrase, I guess. Good cats there don't is. make good jailbirds. There's a little flexible version of our little feline felon jewels. He's in the wings as usual, waiting to take his bow. So take your bow, Jules. There he is. It's, it's Mr. Chips. That is, that is Mr. Chips, right? They've just got Mr. Chips and added ears. That's who that is. That is Mr. Chips from Catchphrase. Apologies if anyone is from overseas and don't know what a Mr. Chips is. That. that is okay. I'm going to ask you a question and see who goes first. So when you know the answer, hit your button and answer. Okay, which prison... When you know the answer, hit your button and answer. That is that is Paddy McGuinness worthy catchphrase there. If you know the answer, hit your button and say the answer! Way Prison is capable of holding the most inmates. Is it Parkhurst, Dartmoor or Wandsworth? Right. What's the answer, guys? We're, we're going to try and win this. Is capable Which prison of holding the most inmates? is capable of holding the most inmates? Is it Parkhurst? Parkhurst. Dartmoor. Dartmoor. Or Wandsworth. Or Wandsworth. Parkhurst, Dartmoor, or Wandsworth. Let, let me know. Let me know. Which is it? We can win this. We can win this. Is it Parkmoor, Dartmoor, or Wandsworth? I've forgotten the names of the prison. Is it Wanda Sykes? Is it Darting? Is it Essex? Which one is it? What's the answer, guys? We need to win this. I might I might just go with Dartmoor. I'm gonna go with Dartmoor if no one else is answering. Magsy is getting Wandsworth. Let's find out the answer. That's Kim. Parkhurst. No, it is in fact Wandsworth. Yes! We have a point! We have our first point, everyone. Oh, one point. I'll just put that. There, one point. That's on the screen now. Hi, little me. Ah, oh, we've got one point at the moment. So, let's keep watching. Or I would have accepted the House of Commons. <laughs> Satire. 1990, who was the Prime Minister then? Was it Thatcher or Major? Because, uh, you know, that, that could be quite biting. Biting satirical wit. <laughs> That means that Philippa and Carl, you're going first. Now, the key to the show Wait, is to remember oh yeah, she got it wrong. what you saw and where you saw it. So with that in mind, let's fill up the board. There you see, as usual, all the symbols going in the board. You have exactly 10 seconds to remember what you saw and where you saw it. Ready at home? Starting now. Now, in as 1990, you... they did not have camera phones. So... There we go. That photo's taken. It goes. Cat pound, swag pound, pound, swag, mask, swag, swag, jail pound, cat pound, cat, jail pound. As usual, the computer is going to That's the mnemonic that I've just, uh, I've just written. After 10 seconds, the board will go blank oh, and revolve. 
One second left. There it goes. Keep them fixed at home. Ninety oh, wait. degrees to the right. Wait, what? The computer's just confirmed. Ninety degrees to the right. But the image just flips. The image just flips to normal. I've genuinely not planned this. Now. As usual, Don't say memorize it and then change the order. Ask you to find one of the hidden symbols hidden because after 10 seconds, the board will go blank and revolve. One second left. There it goes. Keep them fixed at home. 90 degrees to the right. Turn my head. The computer's asking Philippa and Carl to steal swag. So which way do you want to go for That's a pound. Uh, left. I mean, right. Two, left, sorry. <laughs> right two. Three. Three. Right three. Three. No, that's a pound. Should have gone right and two. Steel. No. Yes. No. <laughs> no, it's a good start. Where do you want to go? It's not on there. Oh. Where do you want to go then? From there. Try up one. Up one. one. Yeah, that's swag. Steel. And steel is that swag? Yes, it is. What's in the bag, Stephen? Well, that's in the bag. Guilty in five different languages <laughs> with this electronic. An electronic translator. Look at that baby. But surely that that technology shouldn't exist. Surely. Is that swag? Yes, it is. What's in the bag, Stephen? Well, now you can plead guilty in five different languages with this electronic pocket translator. Pocket translator. That technology doesn't exist. In 1990. Oh, let me just hand out my pocket translator. This doesn't exist. I feel like I'm watching a game show from another universe. Let's see holidays, and it's Kim and Steve to steal some swag. Where do you want to go? Left one. Where? Left, left one. Are they right? There one. Uh, <laughs> Don't there whisper one. to him. Tell him. Down one. Stay up. And steal. Is that swag? Uh, yes, it is. What of these stolen Steven? Is it? Oh, you can celebrate your release in style. You've won this dinner for two. Ooh, dinner for two. Well done. Dinner for two. Let's get some cash now to take with you on your holidays for your translator. And you can you can take someone foreign because you've got an right automatic one. translator. Steel. And steal. Is that cash? Yes, it, it is. It is cash. Well You'll see cash I know because it's on the phone. There's too much things happening. There's too many things. It's your chance to steal more swag. Where do you want to go? Up two. Up two? And across to the left one. And across to the left one? Yeah. yeah. Steel. And steel. steel. Is that swag? Yes, it is. Well done. Right. In, in one minute, so much stuff has happened. So let's go and we'll actually speed it. We'll speed it by two. So this is what happens in one minute. Okay, can Steve steal some swag? Where do you want to go? Left one. Where? Left, left one. They. They want to do it. Tell him down one. Tell him. And steal. Is that swag? Yes, it they is. Steal they steal swag. Oh, you got some major release inside. You want this? Win a dinner, dinner for two. Let's get some cash now. Take the only holiday for your translator. Where do you want to go? Right one. Right one. Steal. And steal. Is that cash? Yes, it is. Well done. Steal some cash. They then have to press a button. Fifteen pounds. Well done. They've got fifteen pounds. Steve, you've got chance to steal more swag. Where do you want to go? Up two. Up two. Across to the left one. Across to the left one? Yeah. Steel. And steel. Is that swag? Yes, it is. Well the other contestants steal some swag. Same game with this unusual 12 piece teaser. And they win a broken plate. That is all in one minute of footage. No wonder this is 24 minutes long. Like, I'm assuming that just the, the creators just wanted wanted the show done with. So they were like, oh, let, let, let's make everything happen at once. That was in one minute. That's <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's move on to the top of the stairs where Philippa and Carl have a chance to steal more cash. Where do you want to go? Right one. Right one. Steal. And steal. Is that cash? Yes, it is. Well done. So we're just, we are literally watching people. This is the prototype deal or no deal, isn't it? It's people choosing boxes at random, but they know the order that the boxes are in because they showed you at the beginning. And steel, is that Jules? Yes, there he was. And so they can't really... Hiding in the corner. This is the first of his arcade games tonight. It's called Buried Booty. Jules is oh my with God, the exactly quality of the this. Treasure is hidden. He has to beat Boxer and digging it out. Five pounds is stolen for each bag retrieved, but watch out. <laughs> if he catches you, it could be a painful experience. 
Okay, as we know by now, the movement of the characters are controlled by these little control pads using a joystick for movement and the fire button for any picking up, putting down, jumping, or in this case, digging actions. Kim, it's a one-player game. You're in control of Jules. You've got 50 seconds to retrieve as many bags of gold as you can, starting now. That's it, start digging with the fire button. Excellent. That's it, well done. Move on the next peg. Dig, dig, dig. And again, sit. Don't forget to keep away from it because you'll smack you with that spade. Run. Watch out. Oh, no. <laughs> If uh, if people are tuning in now, they're assuming that this is a Let's Play channel, and I'm just uh, playing a really really old game. I'm actually controlling uh, the humans who are controlling the computer game. Uh, welcome to my Twitch stream. Sometimes he walks straight past it. Amazing. Dig. Dig your ballock. Ah, oh, the dog hit me. I am going to assume that her joystick is actually not plugged into anything. Um, because it looks like a wireless control stick, and I don't think that technology existed in 1990. Where do you want to go? Left one. Left one. Steel. Hang on a second. Is it cash? Yes, it is. So. I've only just literally realised this, but I've had one point on the bottom of the screen. Have they only asked one question in this whole quiz show? Is there just one question? Why even have it on the card? If you're if you're only asking one question, why have it on a card? Remember the one question that you're going to ask later. Twenty-five pounds. That could buy you a house back then. Your chance to catch up some of that difference. Where do you want to go? Across the left one. To the left one. Down one. And down one. Steel. Is that it? Steel that square. Is it cash? No, it's the James square. Watch out for that in part two. It'll cost you a fiver. Let's move to the top. And remember, kids. You can't be a cool cat in jail if you're a hot bird. I think that's what the catchphrase was earlier. I'll be fit at the end of this program. Right. Have a chance to um, play one of our, one of Jules's arcade games. Where do you want to go? I'll try down two. Down two to oh. the bottom. What do you think? He's going to pull his whole oh, beard off Let's if steal. he loses. Is that Jules? Yes, it is. Well done. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's got her uh, her joystick at the ready. Game. You're in control of Jules. Try to retrieve as many bags as you can. In 50 seconds, starting from now. There you go. Oh, it's the I same. It's the same it. game. Oh, it's the exact same game. <laughs> Five button operates the digging. Your joystick operates the movement. That's it. Come back, you're the other one. You're the other one. You're the other one. Come on. Seven seconds remaining. Plenty of time. But watch out for Boxer. Watch out for him. Dig, 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 dig. I'm, I'm pressing the dig button and it's not working. Come on, left, left, left. Dig, dig. Ah, oh, kill me again. I mean, look. When I when I was at uni. Um, I was I was never a gamer. I'm not a gamer. Um, I have a Wii U, but that's just to play Mario Maker with. I had flatmates who were gamers, and they let me play Half Life, and I couldn't lift up an object, and they were in hysterics. So I guess it is funny to watch people fail at a video game. I didn't realise that this was happening in 1990. This is essentially one of the first ever Let's Plays. So. Steel, UK game show from 1990. I think you are on to a winner here. Bex is here. Hello, Bex. I admire your dedication to late night game show streaming, Frizz. It is a, it's not even 10 p.m. It's not that late. Um, if you know of any other weird quiz shows, uh, do let me know, because this appears to be my niche at the moment. We're broadcasting weird game shows. Uh, but yes, yes, lovely stuff. Right. Let's uh, let's uh, let's continue. Side of your screen. <laughs> Three seconds left. Try and get the last bag. Well done. Even the music sounds like the Wii shopping channel. Unprecedented. 
That's 25 pounds, taking your grand total up to 90 pounds. That's fabulous at the moment. Great. 90 pounds was so much money back then, I'm assuming. I mean, what have you got nowadays? You've got Tipping Point, where you can win... Is it 10 grand? Is that the top prize? Eesh. 90 pounds. And they're applauding. They are applauding. Well done. Great start. Okay, Kim, where do you want to go? Top. Up to the top. One to the left. One to the left. <laughs> steel. And steel, is that cash? Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> now press the button. 15 pounds. Wow. Philippa and Carl, you're in the lead at the moment, but you've got a chance to steal that five. You know what? You know what? I keep saying there was so much money, like ninety pounds is so much money back then. I wouldn't mind ninety pounds if someone just gave me ninety pounds. I'd be like, thanks. So, you know, I basically changed my mind. Final since... swag bag, one to the right, one to the right. Steel and steel is that swag? Yes, it is. Well done, the master. Perfect for the C6 sailor. You've won this rowing machine. Rowing machine? I still can't get over the online translator, the, the automatic translator, the digital translator. It doesn't exist. Down two. Down two. I'm down two. Cross one. Right, right one. To the right or the left? I'm a cross right one, one for watching this shit. Steel. And steel, is that cash? No, that's the burglar's mask. Um... Okay, the burglar's mask, this is the twist. All right, all right, mate. Um, are, are you still able to make sound effects for uh, that game show that I'm doing? No, well, you, you know the Price is Right, where they do the sad trombones. I want that, but just a bit different. Yeah, don't don't put too much effort into it. Don't, don't put too much effort into it. No, that's the burglar's mask. Okay, the burglar. Okay, okay, mate. You you did four different sound cues. Then you did the sad trumpet. You then did some synth music, and then and then, and then I think a duck got involved. Could you play that for me again? Right, 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 right. to the right or the left. Right, right, right one. Steel and steel. Is that cash? No, that's the burglar's mask. Okay, the burglar's mask. This is the twist. Uh, no, you don't have the job. In the whole. It was four different music. Cues. That's too long. Just go. Done. Done in two notes. I could have had that job. Whole game of steel. You can actually steal one of Philippa's presents that they've won in this round. Either the pocket translator or the rowing machine. What would you like? Rowing yeah, machine. Oh, I was, I was going to pause it and try and get you guys to, to, to answer. Um, what would have you chosen? Would you have chosen the pocket translator that doesn't exist or the rowing machine? I would have gone for the rowing machine because that is real. But uh, I'm I'm not them, am I? Yeah. That's yours. Give a round of applause. That's, steel. Yeah. That's some pantomimic action there, master. That's the rowing machine. All the swag's gone now, so all the prizes are safe in this particular round anyway. It's your chance to steal. If you're just joining us, hello, I'm Frizz Frizzle. Uh, I watch weird quiz shows and talk about them. Uh, this one is called Steel. It's a UK game show from 1990, originally aired in ITV, on ITV. And, uh, yeah. Cash and extend your lead. Where do you want to go? They basically Left pick boxes. Two. Left two. They find out what's behind it. Down one. Down one. Steel. And steel. Is that cash? Yes, and they've it got is. cash. Well done. They then press a button to determine how much cash. There's Nothing. Kim and Steve, your chance to catch up. Seems to be steel. a very easy up game. One. What up one? And right one. And right one. Steel. steel. And steel. Is it cash? Yes, yes it is. Well done. North is 25. What you got? Yes. Wow. Oh. Apparently that's the end of the round. Um, shutting Jules the cat, lock, locking and sealing Jules the cat in a little hidey hole. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's, that signifies it's the end of the round. Because everything can change your part two because it's the couple with the most money at the end of round two. Go forward to the jackpot final with a chance to steal a thousand pounds. See you in a couple of minutes. Um, I think you stressed the wrong word then. I think you meant to go steal. 
A thousand pounds! But don't worry, because everything can change in part two, because it's the couple with the most money at the end of round two go forward to the jackpot final with a chance to steal a thousand pounds. See Chance to steal a thousand pounds. Uh, yeah. In a couple of minutes. That, that's, that's what you get when you read off cue cards. You don't really have a chance to prepare. God, I hope we get adverts. That is that is some re reused animation there. Wink, wink and a wave. Welcome back to Steel World. We've got a very exciting situation. If we take we? the scores, we'll find that Kim and Stephen are slightly behind at the moment with 65 pounds. But our leaders so far, we're 90 pounds off. Our leaders. Carl, well done. Okay. That is okay, some... Two, so let's how the... If we take a look at the scores, we'll find that Kim and Steve... Look at how Steve applauds. ...for £65, but our leaders so far were £90 off. Philippa and Carl, well done. OK. OK, it's round two, so let's fill up the board again. There you see all the symbols going into the board. There's those red pounds again. Remember, keep away from them as you forfeit the money to your opponents. This time you only have five seconds to remember exactly what you saw and where you saw it. Five seconds starting from now. Okay, right. Remember, the red pounds only come into play when discovered accidentally. The so we don't, we don't really know. Oh, it's got to rotate that way. It's a mean, lean fighting machine. Oh no! Oh my God! It's upside down. Philippa and Carl. That messed me up. Talents, it's your turn to go and steal swag. So where do you want to go? Right three. Please. To the right. I want to go three. fucking off. Steal. And steal that square. Is it swag? Is it swag? <laughs> no, it's, it's that square. fucking back cat. Into the game. Let's move on. Downstairs to Kim. Wait, Steve, doesn't she get a... is to steal cash? Where do you want to go? Up two. Up two. Left one. Left one. They're not really stealing steal. is that cash? cash. Like, yes. Yes. the cash is purposefully there for ITV to give away to the winner. Like, they have the funding. They're not stealing anything. Stop saying... Stop saying that you can steal this. It's literally the money that is used. It has one purpose. It's to give to the contestants. And steal, is that Jules? Yes, it is. <laughs> They're not stealing anything. Okay, this next arcade game is one of the favourites. It's called Open and Shut Cases. <laughs> By manoeuvring the ladder under an open window, Let's get my... you must help Jules Will drop various objects back? down to scruff. You steal five pounds for each object caught, but watch out for the doggy in the window. He's there to frighten the famous cat burglars. Okay. Watch, out, watch out for the dog. And He's Carl, a cunt. It is a two-player game. You're in control. Joysticks at the ready. You've got 50 seconds to steal as many objects from the windows as you can, starting from now. Come Away on. you go. I sit up Climb. For the Climb that ladder. Okay. Remember, Carl, you're in control of Scruff, and Philip is in control of Jules. <laughs> That's great. Go for the fish. Go for the fish. Oh, well done. Well done. Some great catchphrases oh, in this whole oh, show, by the way. The like, nothing is beating. Good if you know the answer, press left. the buzzer and Open say the, the answer. That was genuinely a catchphrase That's that was well used done. earlier Fabulous. on in the show. Watch out for the level. <laughs> this is prime time entertainment. That's it. Television's coming. <laughs> Come on, get... Dig! Ian Bolton's cat there, he keeps dropping everything. <laughs> Four seconds remaining, well caught. Mark Walker had no way of knowing that 30-odd years in the future, Ian Botham would be known for accidentally dropping pics of his penis. And balls. I'm hoping Mark Walker had no idea. But that joke now means something completely different. Like dick pics into your DMs, am I right? <laughs> An anagram of Ian Botham is I ham baton. So that's that's another thing. Well done. That's good. You're just five pounds behind so far with 105 pounds. That's excellent. Down to the bottom of the stairs where Kim and Steve have a chance Checks out. to extend the lead and steal more cash. Where do you want to go? Is that where we're not stealing it. Yeah. Yeah. Up to the top. Wait, did they write theirs down? Are they allowed to do right that? One. Is that always in the rules? 
And I wasn't aware there. of that. Steal that square. Is it cash? That's why. Oh, <laughs> well, their system <laughs> fucked them up okay, anyway. Up to the top we go. We've it literally didn't girl. matter. The chance to steal some swag. Where do we go? <sighs> Down one. Down one. Can you try that one? Go on, then. Go on, let's <laughs> steal that square. Is it swag? <laughs> That's the burglar's <laughs> mess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have to I will never tire of that. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it was the burglar's mask. The burglar's Half the episode is that it sound anytime effect. You want. Don't forget that. Let's move on. Kim and Steve to find jewels. Where do you want to go? Go on, Cease. Right, down one. Down one. To the right one. To the right one. Steel. And Cha -cha, steel. Real is smooth. that Jules? Yes. Yes, it is. Cha Cha again. Okay. Oh, Jules. The fucking burglar cap. It's your chance to extend your lead. You steal as many objects as you can within 50 seconds, starting from now. Where you going? Watch out for the dog. It's <laughs> a good start. Isn't it? Bloody dog. Up you go. Confessions of a window cleaner. Confessions of a window cleaner? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark Walker, but can you just reference a soft core core pornography well comedy on my ITV primetime quiz show? Go for the fish. You be good at them. You're the fish. I think you bloody did. Hey. Don't forget, Steve, you're in control of jewels. I'm right. Oh no, ITV didn't really bother with points of view, did they? I'll just I'll just write a letter to the Guardian. <laughs> my my young nephew could be watching this show. And then he would Google Confessions of a Window Cleaner just so we could get the joke. And that's available on Amazon Prime, so we could have easily seen it. Four seconds left. Go for the go for two inch. Again, it was the hard look. Who's the most sensibly dressed one in this? I think it's Sean. Look now to 120 pounds. Well done. Your chance now to steal some swag, Philip. Oh dear. Down one. Down one. So if the other. No, I'll tell you what. Go if a couple Mr. got three. the oh, cat three. twice, would they have to play the game steal. twice? And steal. Is that swag? That's the jail square. It's jail. Cost you a five. You've gone back down to a hundred pounds. You're going to Moving jail. Down to Kim and Steve. Whose chance it is to steal Dentry. more swag? Where do you want to go? Yeah. Dentry. 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 Genuinely, genuinely, I am liking that joke, right? When it's a prize like a 12 piece tea set and it's just a plate broken into 12, stainless steel coat hangers, although even if they were stainless steel coat hangers, that's a bit of a shit prize. But no, I am liking this the one good aspect of this show, like the wacky, terrible prizes, but being judged up that they sound better than they are. There are five minutes to go well, of this episode. Go and defend them into little ones. <laughs> <laughs> steal the coat hangers. Do you want to steal the coat hangers? Right. Not yet. No. no right. <laughs> Your chance to get some more swag. There's right, two bags on. left there. Where do you want to go? Try two to the left. Two to the left. Two to the left. Is that it? Yeah. Steal. And steal. Is that swag? That's the jail square. No. Five. You found two of them. Well done. <laughs> Give it, Steve, your chance to find Cassie. Some green soda. Across the right three. To the right three. Yeah, four. Oh, yeah, three. Up two. Can't go oh, four. Three. That goes off the screen, <laughs> you dumb bint. Steel. And steel, is that cash? That's a swag ah. bag. There's one left there. Let's move on up to the top of the stairs where <laughs> Philippa and Carl have a chance to steal more cash. Where do you want to go? Left. They're three. not stealing left it. Three. The cash is specifically for up giving one. to them. One. Steel. And steel, is that cash? Yes, it is. No, oh, thanks for all your work this week, Chris. Here's a paycheck. Oh, thanks. Oh, why are you stealing your paycheck? Oh, no, terrible. That's money okay. specifically for me. Kim and Steve, your chance to find that last cash square. Where do you want it's, to go? It's there or there. <laughs> <laughs> it's there or there. That is the, uh, the, the mating call of uh, the casual quiz viewer. Is the answer A, B, or C? Well, it's probably A or B. No, just don't even bother answering. Ridiculous. Right. Final four <laughs> minutes of the show. <laughs> There's going to be some arguing going on here tonight, I'll tell you. Right. One. Steel. And, and steel. steel, is that steel. cash? Yeah. It is, thanks. Fuck. 
I'm glad it's cash. That, no, that's too... Right. Okay, I know I've changed my mind already about this, but no, if someone said, here is £50, I would not react that way. Money meant a lot more back then, I think. I think that's the equivalent of... I think I'd cheer at £300. I think if someone went, here is £300, I would react like that. Nothing, nothing less than £300, though. Different, different country, wasn't it? <laughs> Philip Rucar, your chance to steal swag. Where do you want to go? Up one. Up one. Beg your pardon? Is that it? Yes, steal. Steal. Is that swag? <laughs> yes, it is. What if we won, Stephen? Here's a bit of luxury <laughs> TV clock radio. Excellent. <laughs> My God, I don't. I don't think that you could watch the resolution that this YouTube video is in on that television. Because this is, uh, this is 480p. Yeah, I don't think. With yourself, you've won this TV clock radio. I don't think I know anyone who's ever had a TV clock radio. That is, that is quite the prize. Excellent. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to use your burglar's mask, but never mind. Let's take a look at the situation. We'll find that Philippa and Carl have £95. Pounds, but that I'm still waiting for a second question. We had one question at the start, which um, Magsy got right. So we have one, right? We've got one point. This was advertised to me as a quiz show. I apologise that there's hardly been any quizzing. But that means our winners with a, a fantastic £170 are Kim and Steve. <laughs> All right, Lenny. Kim and Steve, you also have your dinner for two and the rowing machine that you stole from Philippa and Carl. But we need one of you to go forward and steal a further £1,000. We need one of you to go. Be? Sister. They're not stealing a £1,000 from John, anybody. Steal spotlight for £1,000. You do are it. not stealing a £1,000. The, the show has a budget of a thousand pounds to give you. You will win it if you win. We're all relaxed, okay? It's the same. Just me. Sixteen square board that we've grown accustomed to, but into the board this time. We're Stop gonna put treating the board symbols. like the it is a family member. A Find the key, and you can enter the bank. Once inside the bank, you must kill the alarm. Once you've done that, you um, can then enter the vault. Once inside there, you can open up the safe. What? and steal the £1,000 jackpot that lies within. Now, you only have eight goals to find all five symbols in any order within 60 in seconds. In any order? Also, along the way, there are some cash bonuses. But watch out what? for these. The bill. Uncover what? that square. It's a five-second penalty. What? All right. Let's fill up. And then he has the audacity to steal Michael Barrymore's catchphrase. Let's go through that again. Right, so... You don't have... You ha you need to but collect the, the items time, put five singular symbols. in the no specific order. Key. If it's no specific order, the bank. why are they Once telling the this bank, story the alarm. in a specific order? That, you can then enter the just, vault. just give them Once stars there, to find. The safe just put five the random stars and they have to find the stars. Now you only have eight goals there is to no reason to add law. To add seconds. a steel cinematic way, universe to what is essentially a pick a box square, game. A five second penalty. What? See? Right. Let's that is Michael board. Barrymore's catchphrase. That is the only stealing that is in this, this time entire show. Five seconds to remember exactly what you saw and where you saw it. Five <gasps> seconds starting from now. Remember the £50 bonuses in the corners? They're right. They're right there. The board's gone blank. Hope you're trying to keep them fixed at home. No Twist. cheating by sticking stuff to the television screen. Twist ending there. Okay, there's the five symbols on the left-hand side of the screen. Remember, eight goes in any order within 60 seconds starting They from need now. the key to go in the One bank, up. to kill One the alarm, steal. to go in the steal. vault, One One to go to the festival. Steal. Two to the right. Two to the right. Steal. Steal. Two to find and 53 seconds left. Why can't... The bank and the key. To the right one. To the right one. Down two. Down two. Steal. And steal. That's a 50 pound bonus. One. Left one. Steal. 
Is there a reason she should not can't just go? Steal, left one, steal, left one, steal, left one, steal, up one, steal, right one, steal, right. Is there a reason she can't do that? And steal. That's the bank, just the key to find. Literally say anything. 34 seconds one, remaining. Two, three up. Three up to the top. Right one. Right one. Steal. And steal. Is that the key? That's the bill. Five seconds Down. away. Oh, that's Down why. Steal. Steal. Oh, okay. That's why. Because the bill. The police have. That's why the cat was running away from the tiles at the very beginning of the episode. The tiles with the police hats on. I just thought it was nonsense. It finally makes sense. You put it all together. This is a good show. Steel. 25 pounds. You got Down the key to find. Down is remaining. not a direction. One, left. Two, three left. Eight seconds left. left. Three to the left. One, One right. Up. One up. And steal. That's 50 pounds. Oh. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. Are you telling me this whole time they had the right to a sad trum trumpet? That's 50 pounds. <laughs> They had that sound effect the whole time. Then what the whole point was the... What was the whole point in that? They had the sound effect the whole time. I'm unbelievably, unbelievably pissed off at that. We got a £125 bonus, but let's just find out exactly where that last key was. Can we see? Up at the top, you were all the oh, way around it. Was it. There. You just couldn't find it, but have you had a good time? Yeah, You've exactly. enjoyed yourself. Mm. Let's bring your brother down. Here he comes. Give him a round of applause there. The playboy. Well. So far, you've still got your dinner for two, your rowing machine, <laughs> and your 295 quid. You've had a good time. Join us <laughs> next time. We'll have more pounds, more prizes. Well, people. that was Steel. Um, these are the end credits. These are all the people who worked on the show. Someone's grandson worked on the show. The Electronic Pencil Company made all the games. Uh, let's see what they're up to nowadays. Denise Kelly and Deborah Kershaw. Um, got videotape. John Baldwin. Uh, Jeff Fisher. Oh, that's a character in American Dad. Terry Gout. That's a name. That is a name that belongs in 1990. Well, so, final thoughts about Steel. Um, apparently it ran for five years. Um, it is essentially a guess-the-box game. You don't need the narrative in the final bit of the show. You really don't need that. Just have it as gold stars and skull and crossbones. That's all you need. You don't need the story. Um, the video game aspect... That was a weird choice, uh, but you got to live with the technology that you have. I mean, not that long ago, there was a video, there was a quiz show hosted by Rylan where you had to choose babushka dolls, and it, that was a that was a pick, that was a test your luck, press your luck sort of game. We had we had a quiz show in two thousand ten called Don't Scare the Hair, which was essentially massive buckaroo. No, it was more like don't, don't Wake Dad. So quiz shows have uh, had rises and falls. That one, I'm shocked it ran for five years. I'm, I'm a bit shocked that it ran for five years. But all in all, not a quiz show because it had one question at the beginning. He had more than one card. Roy, Roy Walker's son, Mark Walker, do not tease me with your potential of many questions to be asked. But to be fair, we got that question right. So I'm counting that as a win. Um, earlier we came second in Only Connect uh, between the two teams, so it's good to have a win for the day. Uh, thank you everyone who watched. Uh, Sam Lurion, Magsy, uh, Matt J, Puzzle Guy, uh, Baldy, um, he was at the start of the stream. Oh, who else? Uh, Bex, Bex Turner as well, Bex Turner. I think that's everyone who commented. Yes, it is. Oh, and me, I also commented. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed that. Uh, another obscure quiz game uh, at some point tomorrow. 
Uh, 4, 4 p.m. will be an Only Connect episode. And then 9 p.m. will be an old quiz show from the past. Uh, that's my stream schedule tomorrow. Uh, do do drop do pick up do 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 drop in. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yes, enjoy the rest of your night. I hope you're having a good time. I'll see you next time. Wave, wink, wave, wink, wave. <laughs>